Hi everyone, welcome to Narish Technologies, this is Srinivas. In this video we are going to discuss about a variable arguments function, variable arguments function in Python. See here, what is a variable argument and when it is useful? Means, means we know that a function, function takes input, input is nothing but arguments arguments, variable arguments, varying means what is changing, it is different. So, means is when we do not know how many arguments we need to pass exactly. So, by the time, by the time we use a variable arguments function concept. With a simple example, suppose definition, here it is a variable args, variable args and we are writing is one argument for example, we can say A, A is an argument and inside I just want to display that A and return that is all. A simple program and here it is whenever we are calling, function calling is required, so without call, without call the definition will not execute, we know that and here if you pass only one value 10, the 10 will go and store into A and we are printing that A. So, it will display the value, it will display the value 10, but here, here it is suppose I want to pass 2 arguments, 2 arguments we are passing, suppose 10 comma 20 we are passing, then to collect these 2 arguments, here it is a 2 variables we need to define, 2 variables and here it is whenever we are executing, here it is a error, takes 1 positional argument, but but here it is a 2 were given. So, here to avoid this error and we do not know exactly how many arguments we need to pass, the length of arguments if we do not know, here it is we are using a variable arguments with the help of a pointer, with the help of pointer. Uh, suppose if you have already good at C or C++ language, it is like we can say a pointer concept, it, sto it stores address of a memory block. So, what is the size of memory block that is depends on the length. See here, generally if you take one array, if you take one array, simply in other languages array and here it is what array variable will store. Suppose if you pass some value like a 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, here it is a block will be allocated to store all the 4 values 10, 20, 30, 40, 10, 20. 30, 40 and here, here it is what array variable holds means what? It holds address. So, like for example, this is the address, array variable holds address by which it can point into this array and how to access means what? Using index number, index number, index starts with 0, 1, 2, 3 like this, like this. So, this is what we call array. And so, one more option is there, the same thing we can represent in C and C++ using pointer also. So, both are same, both are same. Now, here it is array variable also pointing to this list, a collection of input values. Now, here it is a star A, just you can consider as a list or you can consider as an array. So, in a simple terminology, first we can consider as an array. And here, now, whenever we are passing, so suppose if I pass only one element, only 10 we are passing. So, whenever we are executing, whenever we are executing, see the 10 it is displaying, 10, but it will collect in the form of a tuple. So, what is a tuple, list, tuple, set, dictionary, all the things we will cover in collections concept, okay, that we will see. So, just here it is a, as a tuple it is showing the value, here it is a more than one argument we are passing suppose 10, 20, 30. So, will it collect means what? Yes, it will collect. See all the values it is displaying as a list, I mean nothing but as a collection of elements list or tuple later. And now here, suppose sir can we pass a different types of arguments? Yes, we can. 
3, 4, 5, 6 and here it is a python we are passing. So, whenever we are executing this, see all the three elements it is displaying. So, no matter what type of data we are passing. So, that is it is not a it is not a type type checking a type checking programming language. So, that is the reason any type you can pass right no restrictions. And here sir, sir do I need to execute 1 by 1 1 by 1 do I need to process 1 by 1 1 by 1 means yes that is also allowed that is also allowed. See here instead of instead of printing directly as a list as a collection of elements here it is we are just giving that message <coughs> message elements are elements are suppose here it is we can iterate using for loop. We have already discussed in the previous sessions how a for loop execute, but generally for basic but for basic iterations for loop will take the help of a range function. But here it is a for loop directly it is taking that list name here it is for any element in this place any variable you can you can place in a that is all nothing but arr array more clearly sir I can can I change the name means yes arr and here it is inside we are displaying that element element by element if you want to process using iterators we can collect element by element. So, here whenever we are passing the values a few values we are passing like a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 it will iterate for loop is responsible for iterating the elements element by element from the array. And here it is from array element by element will be collected into this one a variable what we have given is element and here it is we are printing that element directly. So, the value will be displayed automatically here whenever we execute now look at this this is element by element processing. Sir can we process using index means what yes that is a particular element sir I want to display instead of using this for loop just simply print print here it is arr of 0 index number is a 0 and next one print just arr of 3 the third location element at the 0th location index starts with a 0 no? at 0th location element is a 10 first second third at third location that element is a 40. So, here it is it will display the values values 10 and 40. So, variable arguments means variable arguments whenever we are taking the input values and if you do not know the length if you do not know the size variable variable means different different length simply different length here variable arguments means when we do not know when we do not know the length of arguments the length of arguments arguments while while defining a function while defining a function we use what we use variable arguments function variable arguments function that is and uh, the more deeply if you want to study study the elements the elements will be collected will be collected using using a pointer variable using a pointer variable and all the elements will be in the form of a tuple but as of now we do not know what is a tuple if you already know the concept tuple the elements will be displayed as a tuple ok. So, this is simply so what are variable arguments alright hope you understood for more videos please subscribe to Naresha channel thank you.